you may have been seeing a lot of headlines having to do with one of the best basketball players in the world, Kyrie Irving, that have nothing to do with basketball. We're about to get into that now. Uh, and I want you to look at this first. The Anti-Defamation League found that the number of anti-Semitic incidents hit a record high in 2021, a 34% increase from the previous year. And yes, now one of the biggest names in sports facing backlash for spreading anti-Semitism, NBA star Kyrie Irving off the Brook of the Brooklyn Nets, shared a link last week on social media to a 2018 film that's been described as anti-Semitic, leading to a heated exchange with ESPN's Nick Friedel during Saturday's post-game press conference. And joining us is ESPN reporter Nick Friedel himself and ABC News contributor and Los Angeles Times columnist LZ Granderson. Thank you both for being with us. All right, LZ, let's start with you here. For people who aren't familiar, don't want to t tell them to go out and find this film and, and watch it or anything else. Talk about exactly what he did. He tweeted a link. He didn't say anything, right. but he tweeted a link to this film that shows and that is, says what? That is basically anti-Semitic. Like you, you know, Nick and I were talking you know, offline, we're like we're so sick of talking about Kyrie yeah. from last season, right, dealing with the vaccinations and his logic. And again, here we are again, him trying to apply Kyrie logic to something that is pretty straightforward. It is an anti-Semitic film. There is no nuance, in my opinion. Um, I don't understand why he felt the need to tweet it out. Um, I think it is, I think he is showing some awareness that he knew it would be sort of controversial because he didn't say anything, right? Yeah. He didn't say great film. He didn't, yeah. he just put it out there and expected his followers to take a look and perhaps pick up what he was putting down. But Kyrie is, in my opinion, Nick, getting to the point in which the Nets as well as the NBA are going to have to start thinking about some serious discipline because he's using his platform not just to push conversations that are obscure, like the earth is flat, which he did not too long ago, but conversations that are dangerous. Mm. And as you saw with the graphic, um, we cannot afford that. Yeah, and, and Nick, after the Nets game on Saturday, you pressed Kyrie about his tweet, also about uh, an Alex Jones clip he had previously put out there. So let's take a look at the exchange. To follow up on the promotion of the movie and the book. Can you please stop calling it a promotion? What am I promoting? Put it out on your platform. But I'm promoting it? Do you see me doing, do you see By me in front of the, it out there, the people title? People are going to say that you are yeah, I put promoting. it out there just like you put things out there, right? Yeah, but I, okay. I, it's not You put stuff. things out there for a living, right? Right, but my Great. stuff is Great. not. Great, so let's move on. What did you make of his response, Nick? It was very Kyrie-like. Having been around him now and covered him for a year, he doesn't want to say anything that he doesn't fully believe on. And when he gets pushed, he wants to make sure that he is in control. And it was so clear, guys. All he had to say was, I don't have any anti-Semitic views. That was what the Nets wanted to hear. That is certainly what the NBA wanted to hear. And it didn't happen. And it has become such a bigger controversy than it had to be. And it reminded me so much, LZ, of all those times last season where he and I would have back and forth about the vaccination conversation because he didn't get vaccinated. He wasn't able to play in New York City for most of the season. And always inside that organization, they would listen to those press conferences last year. People would listen to those press conferences the other night and they would stand there and they would just shake their heads because he always makes things more difficult than they have to be. This is about uh, Kyrie. We're talking about Kyrie again. I know you're all exhausted. And this is, again, this dude is one of the best ball players yes, on the yes. planet, yes. period. All right? But we're tired of talking about this, um, and I know the NBA is as well, but how bad did they mess this up? The stunning part to me, guys, is the Nets in their first statement didn't mention Kyrie's name. Mm -hmm. The NBA in their first statement didn't mention Kyrie's name. The Players Association didn't mention Kyrie's Why name. Why is that? Because everybody is afraid to upset Kyrie because they're not sure how things are going to unfold after that. And Sean Marks and that's GM the other night said, in as many words, we don't trust him in front of the microphone right now. We don't want to put him out there because we're not sure what he's going to say but moving forward if he now doesn't the next time he speaks publicly come out and say what the Nets want to hear and what the league wants to hear I think there is a chance that everybody involved kind of says as fantastic as he is as a basketball player the off the court drama that surrounds him all the time may not be worth it and again I, and I just want to make sure we're clear we're not saying we don't want you to say things people don't agree with. Exactly. And we're not saying we don't want you to express how you feel. 
But you need to take some accountability too. If you're if you're promoting anti-Semitism, don't get into a tit for tat with the reporter who calls you out on it and make it sound as if you're being attacked. That's irresponsible and juvenile to me. LZ, Nick, thank you. And we do want to mention that the Nets, Kyrie Irving, and the Anti-Defamation League have issued a new joint statement announcing the Nets and Kyrie Irving will each make a $500,000 donation towards eradicating hate. Kyrie also wrote, I am aware of the negative impact of my post towards the Jewish community, and I take responsibility. I do not believe everything said in the documentary was true or reflects my morals and principles. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.